and the gang, their big teddy bear and drama llama and Christmas bear and ABC bunny and little Christmas gnome and Valentine's bear. And tonight we want to read you a story, a Christmas story. Isn't that right? Isn't that right? ABC bunny and Christmas bear. Isn't that right? I'm a Santa baby. Christmas to you. Like to do. I'm a Santa baby. Drama Llama. Gosh. Manners. Okay. So tonight we're going to read the Christmas story. And I know that you probably already know this, but I guarantee you've never heard of it told like this before. I think JR might be ready to join us here in a second. You can hear him click his toenails clicking across the floor. So, there, there, can everybody see? Mm -hmm. All right, the Christmas story. See baby Jesus there and the little lamb and the cow and the donkey? Long ago, in a town called Nazareth, there lived a young woman named Mary. One day, a great light appeared, and Angel Gabriel stood before her. Do not be afraid, said the angel. I bring you joyful news. God has chosen you to be the mother of his son. You will have a baby, and you will name him Jesus. There's Angel Gabriel, and there's Mary. She was just a teenager. She was only a few years older than you, Chloe. She wasn't much older than you at all. She wasn't even grown and out of the household. She was still living at home with her mom and dad. And if she were living today, she would still be in school. That's how young Mary was. <clears throat> in the same town, there lived a carpenter named Joseph. Joseph loved Mary very much. He was going to marry her. The angel came to visit Joseph and told him that Mary was going to have God's son. Later, Joseph came to see Mary and told her what the angel had said. There's Joseph. There's the angel. And there's the town of Bethlehem. Can you all see? One day, a message came from the governor of the land. All of the people had to go back to the place where they had been born so that they could be counted. Joseph was worried. He and Mary would have to go to Bethlehem. This was a long way away, and Mary was almost ready to have her baby. She was more, she was closer to her due date than your mommy, Sarah, than Sarah is. So, and she had to travel a long way on a donkey or on a camel. We're not sure which, but she had to travel and she was very pregnant. They set off early the next mor morning. Joseph led the way. Mary rode on a donkey. The road was long and hard. They didn't reach Bethlehem until the evening. The town was full of people. Joseph tried everywhere to find a place to stay, but all the rooms were taken. Mary was so tired she could hardly stay awake. 
there she is on the donkey. You can, if you can see, her eyes are closed and she's having a very hard time staying awake. She's probably like falling asleep every once in a while. At last, an innkeeper said, all my rooms are full, but you can use my stable. It is clean and warm in there. Joseph thanked him and they went inside. All around them, cows and donkeys lay peacefully asleep. The hay was soft and smelled sweet. Mary and Joseph lay down and rested. See right here, animals, they're sleeping in the stable. And this is the innkeeper here and Mary and Joseph and the innkeeper is pointing them to a stable where they can stay and rest. In the night, Mary gave birth to her baby. It was a boy, as the angel had said. They named him Jesus. Mary wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger where it was soft and warm. Mary and Joseph watched over Jesus lovingly. They knew he was a very special baby. There's Mary and Joseph and little baby Jesus. And there's the cow and the donkey looking on. And I'm going to stop right there. That's not the end of the story. But I'm going to stop right there and see how you guys like this. If you like it, I'll do it again tomorrow night. The reason I'm doing it is, one of the reasons I'm doing it is because I know how hard it is that you guys are, that you're at home and you're not allowed to leave or be around anybody else. And um, but this is just the only way I could think of to maybe um, be with you and provide something different for you to do. Um, if you like, I can mail you or drop off some things to color uh, or maybe um, that book that lets you paint with a brush and water. Just um, I'll call tomorrow and see what you all would like me to drop off for you. I love you and good night. Say good night, everybody. Say good night. I'll be